In episode 101 of Dragon Ball Super, we witnessed an awesome scene as Master Roshi took on the Precho, a fighter from Universe 3. During their encounter, Roshi used one of his most impressive moves. This move is called the Lightning Flash Surprise Attack, or the Bankoku Bikuri Show, a devastating technique which first appeared during the finals of the 21st tournament in Dragon Ball. As Goku took on Master Roshi, who was fighting under the guy of Jackie Chun. Just before this, it appeared as if Goku had the upper hand after tricking Roshi about the order of Goku's Jonkin technique and dropped him to the ground. However, as Roshi recovered and began to charge up his technique, he explained that he had only ever had to use the move once before on Goku's grandfather Gohan, who was Roshi's former student. Roshi then unleashed the move in a flash of electricity which engulfed Goku and held him up in the air in agony, and as Yamcha explained, this is a sort of technique that Roshi uses to convert his ki to thousands of volts of electricity, and the longer Goku could endure it, the closer he would come to his own death. This was perhaps Roshi's biggest play during their fight, and it nearly paid off. As Roshi told Goku to say uncle, thus giving up, and Goku is in the process of doing so before he saw the full moon. This of course resulted in Goku's transformation into into the Great Ape or Ozaru form, which allowed Goku to break free from the technique and led to Roshi destroying the moon with a full power Kamehameha. So this technique of Roshi's is certainly powerful and even capable of making someone like Goku give up under its intense pain. However, it isn't perfect as we saw with Ozaru, it can be deflected by someone more powerful or depending upon their anatomy. Now although this was devastating back in Dragon Ball, fighters such as Goku and our heroes have improved drastically in speed, power, and durability since then, as have the threats they face. However, as we've seen in Dragon Ball Super, this technique has not lost its relevance, and in fact has had somewhat of a resurgence. After Roshi is taken over by the power of Yuren's magic talisman in episode 89 of Dragon Ball Super, Master Roshi's unrestrained power is released, as he and Tien face off in battle, Roshi once again uses his lightning flash surprise attack, which is able to immobilize Tien and allow Roshi to fire a Kamehameha, which Goku deflects. Now as Tien was only in the attack for a matter of moments before collapsing and Roshi letting it go, it's likely that this is either an improved version of the move or Roshi was using even more power, since it's unlikely that Tien at this point in Super would last for a shorter time under the duress than even and Kid Goku in Dragon Ball. And as Goku fights with Roshi after this, Goku says he's gotten much stronger and must have been training in secret, which seemingly confirms this idea. And of course, this leads up to episode 101, where Roshi once again faces off with a fighter in a tournament, Precho, and is able to successfully use this technique against him to great effect. And once again, this is a fighter who should be far above anyone from the first Dragon Ball series. However, this time it wasn't a finishing move for Roshi, but instead used to set up a combo move with Tien, where he charged up his Shin Kikoho and fired it at Precho, sending him out of the ring and eliminating him. However, as Roshi said during this use of the technique, while he's using it, neither he nor his captive can do anything else, which can be seen as a flaw. And additionally, Roshi seemed tired after this move and said Tien saved him, so it's possible that Precho was an opponent who Roshi had to use far more of his energy against for this attack, and thus drained much more of his stamina in the process. Ultimately, this technique, which dates back to the original Dragon Ball, has proven its effectiveness against opponents strong or otherwise. Considering the immense pain its targets undergo, as well as their inability to move while in it, it's no wonder this move has remained relevant even now in Dragon Ball Super. And while the Kamehameha may be Roshi's signature technique, which has seen the most use in this franchise, the Bankoku Bikuri Show may be one of his greatest and most powerful, up there with the Mafuba or Evil Containment Wave, and shows even now Roshi is still very much a force to be reckoned with, and I can only imagine how much greater this technique could become if others were to use it in the future. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you could see all of my content right away 
away when it comes out. Yeah, and you better subscribe, enable those damn notifications.